Blackstone griddle, smash burgers. Just want to dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Just stay the night and we leave when it's like nothing wrong, it's alright with you. Okay, the first step is 80-20 good ground beef and a good sized burger and not overly flat. We want it to, to have some thickness because we're going to make a smash burger. No First, you want to make sure you get your griddle good and hot. And you place those unfolded burgers with salt and pepper on the griddle. Let them set for a period of time while, so they'll caramelize before you do any mashing. As you can see, we're going to be mashing them down as they cook. Okay, your burgers are all smashed and they're on the griddle and you can see the doneness as they as they proceed and you want to make sure that you don't push them or do anything more with them other than make sure that they're flattened down against the griddle until the point when you turn them. If you'll notice when we turn these they're not brown brown they've just got a good doneness to them. After we've got them covered, we've got a good clean grill next to it. One of the key parts to me for a good burger is a toasted bun. And as, you'll, as you see, we'll start with the bottoms of the buns on the griddle, then we'll be progressing to the top of the buns. And as we build our burgers and add condiments, we'll be changing the bun uh, uh, toasting process as it goes. Don't wanna be so emotional. Just wanna dance, want a simple romance. Nothing more, nothing less from you. No lies. No lies. No need. So free. I don't care what you say, what you do, how you feel. So our burgers being on the griddle where we can see where we've got the doneness at the top, we're watching them as they progress. Once it's reached its level, we place our cheese on the on the burger and uh, once the cheese is in place and it's melted to where we want it to be then we'll place the the toasted top of the bun on the cheese so it'll sort of adhere itself to be able to be a good sandwich <laughs> bun is placed on the burger we start removing them from the griddle because that means everything's finished up and we're ready to serve it so we have the, the bottom of the bun ready for placement notice when I lift the burgers off of the griddle you see the dryness which means that the bottom of your burger is caramelized and that's the key point to these smashed burgers and getting the flavor off the griddle then you have to have the right spatula to be able to lift that off of there and place it on your bun. Show me a good time. If I wanted more than this, I'd love you until I'm gone. 
once that's all done, we put get you a good adult beverage and dress your burger and you enjoy yourself. Just stay with me for a drink and show me a good time. If I wanted more than this, I love you until I'm gone. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully, our Smash Burger will give you some ideas for your future meals. I love you until I'm gone. Yeah.